if you look at the numbers, it can be determined that everyone on this planet is related to everyone else. You watching this video right now, me, your local house DJ, a random mechanic in Malmo, we are all connected somehow. What may come as a surprise, however, is the theory that states that everyone on this planet, all 1.7 billion of us, could be networked through only a half dozen connections. Enter 6 degrees of separation. Hi! Though it may seem overwhelming at first, the basics of the concept are actually quite easy to grasp. Let me ask you this. How many contacts do you have on your cell phone? Some of you may say 8, others may say 800. The number really depends on the individual. However, for the purpose of this explanation, let's say that hypothetically, everyone in the world has exactly 50 non-repeating contacts. And these are the only people each person would know. This would mean that you have 50 contacts at your disposal and each one of those 50 individuals have 50 distinctive contacts of their own. This means that through one mutual friend, you'd be connected with 2500 people. Since each one of those 2500 individuals would have 50 different contacts of their own, you now have a connection with 50 cubed or 125,000 different people through only two mutual acquaintances. We can go on until we notice that by the time we get to the power of 6, we get a value over 15 billion, which is around twice the world's population. So, with simple exponents, we were able to see that with just 6 links, we can theoretically connect one individual to everyone on the planet two times over. But clearly, this model is inaccurate to the real world, as network size disparity and shared connections have been factored out. In addition, there are communities in the world, such as remote tribal communities, which have no contact with the mainstream outside world. Hence, the strictest interpretation of six degrees of separation is invalid. But is there a better model we could use? Logically, most of your friends and acquaintances would be friends and acquaintances with each other. This results in clustering behavior within the network, which means that almost everyone knows each other in the closed environment. For six degrees of separation to work, however, connections known as weak ties are also needed. Say you have a dozen or so friends in different parts of the country you live in, and a few friends from around the world. Even though you are not always closely affiliated with these connections, they allow you to be connected with clusters of different people from around the world, allowing our theory to work. With the prevalence of telecommunications and the internet, weak ties are only getting stronger, reminding us that we have virtually an entire world of people in our extended social networks.